Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I just came back from a long vacation, so that explains why I haven't been posting videos in a while. I took a trip to China, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a moment. But first, I want to bring you something a little bit different. I see the aquarium hobby cross over to the reptile hobby and vice versa quite often, and I'm one of the ones that actually keep both. This is a pair of discus who have bred and produced about 50 fry. Fry is the word to describe baby fish. What's interesting about discus is that there's a lot of similarities with them and ball pythons. Discus has a lot of color and pattern mutations. It's one species, but they have so many different mutations, similar to ball pythons. This pair of discus has a color mutation called sea green. That name was given by the breeder or by the person who developed it or is developing it. And so I guess that's just his line of blue. There's other lines of blue such as blue diamond and sapphire and cobalt. Maybe there's more. So there's subtle differences in these lines but overall they're just blue fish. Similarly in the ball python hobby we have different lines of hypo, we have different lines of pastel, um, you know we have lesser and butter which is the same mutation but they were named by different people. So in that respect, ball pythons and discus have a lot of similarities. So I said I'll tell you a little bit more about my vacation. I took a trip to China for a family reunion. I did try to go to a reptile breeding facility during my vacation time in China. So I'll tell you a little story about that. We were, we drove over an hour outside of Shanghai. So we get to the facility, we park, we get through security, and we go in and we're greeted by this guy who introduced himself to us and then quickly and apologetically explained why we are not allowed to visit their facility. Which was a total bummer for me because I had my equipment, I had my camera. You know, the reason is because recently a new list of, I guess, prohibited or endangered or hobby animals came about in China and the facility didn't have the time to go through that list and compare it against what animals they have in their facility and because of that they weren't sure if they had all the permits in place thus prohibiting any visitors from visiting until they review that list. And believe me we tried to get in there, we begged them, we pleaded with them, I even tried to bribe one of the people to just let us in for a quick peek. I said, just let me in for like five minutes. Just let me shoot five minutes of video. That's all I want to do. But no, they just would not allow it. And we ended up just driving back to my hotel. But on the upside, I had a great time. I did a lot of sightseeing, spent a lot of time with family. And overall, it was a good break. And then when I came back, I see 50 baby fish, which I'm totally thrilled about. And you know, if you guys want to see more videos of my fish, I do have a reef aquarium. I do have planted aquariums. And if you guys have fish, please comment down below. I know some other channels that also have reptiles and fish. DEA Exotic, for example, he has a pair of discus as well. And the Python Burrow, I know he has a saltwater tank that he's shown in one of his videos. So let me know if you guys want to see videos of my aquariums. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and want to know about future videos, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please share. And I'll see you guys next time.